Today we're making musku. That's right. So how do we make musku? Well, we're gonna need three ingredients: honey, peanut butter, and flour. Okay. Now the original recipe, which I found on Joe's Ultralight website, and I'll put the link down below, uh, called for corn flour, not corn meal, but corn flour. I don't have corn flour, but I do have brown rice flour, and I've used this before, and it comes out great. So we're going to need our three ingredients. Make sure that your peanut butter is a um, is a kind that is not uh, natural enough that requires stirring and separation. This one's not too bad. Preservatives are good in this particular case. Uh, get good honey, too. And you're going to need a couple spoons and a tablespoon. And uh, I'm going to bring you around here, and we'll show you what we're going to put in our bowl. All right, so our recipe calls for two parts of honey, two parts of the flour, and one part of the peanut butter. Okay, we're going to use one tablespoon of each. Okay, so we're going to take our honey, and we're going to put in eight tablespoons of honey, eight tablespoons of the flour, and four of the peanut butter. And we'll be right back. Okay, we got all of our ingredients in a bowl. I kind of guessed on the peanut butter. I like a lot of peanut butter. You can uh, do whatever you want with this. You can, um, you know, add in uh, cocoa is one thing I've seen people do. And what you're going to do with this is we're going to mix this up into a really, really good um, paste. And uh, we're going to stick it in a in a little squeeze container, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, if you're in colder temperatures, you're going to want to make sure that uh, you put this in like wax paper instead of a squeeze bottle because it will uh, it will get thick in cold weather, which could be useful. You could make it into uh, like bars and uh, that sort of thing. So it's all about uh, what your taste is. And uh, what you enjoy, if you're doing it in bars, you could probably add in some nuts or seeds to increase the uh, calorie intake. But if you do uh, 8 tablespoons of flour, corn flour, 8 tablespoons of uh, oops, honey, and 4 tablespoons of peanut butter, then your, uh, your calorie count is about $1,300 or 1,300 calories per tube. And that's quite a bit. This is backpacker food, so there's lots of fat, lots of protein, and uh, lots of carbs in there to, uh, to get you going. So we're just going to mix this up here, and I'm um, going to shove it into the tube. I'll show you how that, that looks. All right, so it's all mixed together. The tube I use is this Kuglin's uh, squeeze tubes. Uh, essentially, they're open at the end. You stick your stuff in there. You fold them over. You slide this thing through. It's got a nice little uh, locking mechanism like that, and you just kind of slide it through, and you squeeze it out onto your tortillas or bagels or whatever you want to put your musku on. You put it right in your mouth if you're really crazy. Uh, here's the cap. Cap goes on. Um, these tubes are really nice, but the cap is not entirely secure. You can see you can over tighten the cap, and then it pops back off. So. I always put these in a Ziploc bag anyway, inside the food bag. Um, when After you put your uh, musku in and you're done with your trip, to get the musku residue out, I find that if you put it in the fridge or the freezer and uh, let it get cold, then it solidifies and you can just kind of scrape it in there and pull that stuff out and it washes out quite a bit easier. I'm going to live dangerously with this particular batch and I'm going to toss in this, this package of... Uh, rich chocolate flavored nesty hot cocoa mix and uh, we're gonna see what that tastes like I'm living dangerously folks there it is one Kuglin squeeze tube full of moose goo it's gonna be fantastic that chocolate really didn't add too much chocolate flavor but it's something you can experiment with like I said in cold weather you could wrap it up 
and uh, bring it along. Or pre-make your burritos. I'm gonna uh, take this little bit that's left that didn't fit in the tube, and uh, I'm gonna put some put that in wax paper and stick it in the freezer. Just kind of see what it tastes like as kind of a candy bar. There you go, folks. Moosku. Make sure to check out Ultralight Joe's um, page for more recipes for other great, wonderful food. Take it easy. Knock, knock. Who's there? The interrupting cow. The interrupting cow. Moo! Ha! <laughs>